Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel on this afternoon or wherever time zone that you may be viewing this from. I am coming to you live from Dallas Love Field. I am on a layover and um, I was unable to make this video obviously because I'm traveling and you know I was just sitting here and the Lord spoke to me and told me I needed to just um, present it so um, I just want to talk to you all very very quick I won't be before you long but before I do that I want to ask you to consider uh, subscribing to the channel as the channel is growing if this is your first time, I want to thank you. If this is, uh, I will ask of you, you to hit that subscription button below. Please like and share the video because it helps the channel to grow. Okay, so today, like I said, I will not be before you long because I am traveling and I'm on a layover right now. I'm just coming back from, um, well, I've been on vacation. But what I wanted to talk to you about I want to talk to you about the importance of recharging, recalibrating, renewing yourself, reviving yourself. Um, oftentimes, you know, we can get caught up with the hustle and bustle of, you know, the workflow, um, you know, just wearing all the various um, hats and things like that. And I have to tell you, I want you all to know that you have to live, and by that I mean you have to take the time to enjoy your life. God wants us to enjoy our life. Um, you're going to be more, when you're arrested, and I don't have the stats in front of me, but I know statistics shows that when you, um, when you take vacations, don't quote me on this, but I believe the statistics are right. It adds like an extra, I believe it's 10 to 15 years. I have to come back and um, double check that. But I believe it's like you live like an extra 10 years longer. People who travel and people who take the time to get away from it all. And, um, you know, do that. You know, can I tell you something? Bills are going to be there. Um life goes on okay so you have to it's, for some of you all it may be a couple things that you may have to do um, it was interesting because this week I had someone to share with me um, she was like you know Bridget I don't want to uh, feel like I need to travel because you know we're trying to save our money and you know so that we can be able to uh, live in the future and you know although that point may be true I kind of disagree with that because here's the deal none of us know the time the date you know when our time is going to be at hand so let's say that theory is true you know and let's say I'm gonna because you've heard people say you know I'm gonna um, I'm gonna travel when I retire but what happens if you Retire if when you retire, what happens if you don't live your life and you, you know, Lord forbid, you go prematurely and you have neglected yourself because you were saving, uh, you were waiting. I'm gonna say that you were waiting for that right opportunity. Um, I, I just I don't I don't agree with that. I think you should live, plan your life for the future, but I also believe you should live in the moment. You know, God wants us to live in the moment. And um, so that's really what I have to share with you. Revive, recalibrate yourself, renew, restore. And when you travel and when you take the time to go on vacation and do things with your family, you're going to be less stressed. You won't be as stressed out. You're going to be more at peace. And you know what? Your mind is going to be recharged to be able to make things happen. So that's what I have. I know it's not a lot, but it was what the Lord laid on my heart. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. You take care. I love you. And let's go do life.